Hi there, I'm Young, a technical account manager here at the AWS office in Johannesburg. Today, I'm going to show you how to create an AWS identity and access management policy to control access to Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud resources using tags. Let's get started. Suppose that you want to grant a developer the ability to start and stop specific EC2 instances that have a specific tag, or grant an IAM user control to an EC2 instance that is tagged with their friendly name. Let's walk through this process. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the EC2 console. In the navigation pane, choose Instances. Then add tags to the EC2 instances that you want certain users or groups to be able to control. I'm logged in as the administrator. As the administrator, I'm responsible for tagging EC2 instances. I have two instances here. I want my developers who are part of an IAM group to be able to start and stop instance one. Next up, I want the username Anna to have full control over instance two because this instance belongs to her. To add the tags, select instance one. Then on the tags tab, add a new key value pair by choosing manage tags. I'll add the key team and value as developers, and then I'll save it. While on instance two, I'll add a new key value pair with the key as username and value equal to Anna. Note that text that you enter for the keys and values for EC2 tags are case sensitive. For more information, refer to the Associated Knowledge Center article that is linked in the video description. Now let's head over to the IAM console to create and attach the policies. Choose users. As you can see, we have the user Zhang who belongs to the developers group and we have user Anna. Note that Anna doesn't belong to any groups. By default, new users don't have permissions to access any AWS resources. Let's add a new policy to the developers group. On the left navigation pane, choose policies, then choose create policy. First, we'll grant permissions to the developers group in the EC2 console by allowing them the describe action for all resources in a separate policy statement. We need to do this because the describe API action does not support resource level permissions. Choose the JSON tab. I'm going to paste my policy statement. Then, we'll create another statement using the EC2 service condition resource tag to start and stop all instances that have a condition where they are tagged with the key team and the value equal to developers. Now let's add another policy statement to explicitly deny access to the EC2 create tags and the delete tags actions to prevent users from creating or deleting tags on the EC2 instances. Now let's review the policy and give it an appropriate name and description. Choose review. Now that I have the name and description filled out, let's go ahead and create the policy. Because we've just created the policy, we can select the policy by choosing the link on top, or you can filter through all the policies to find the policy that you want. Now go ahead and attach the policy to the developers group. Choose the policy and under actions, hit attach and attach it to the developers group. Then choose attach policy. So now we are going to create a policy for Anna. Choose create policy. Similarly to Zhang, we're going to create the same policy that we use for the developers group but we'll modify the resource tag EC2 service condition. Choose JSON. I'm pasting the same policy as the developers. I'm going to modify the team key here to username and the value pair to the IAM variable username. In the allowed EC2 actions, I'm replacing start and stop action with the wildcard so that Anna can perform all EC2 actions 
on the tag resource. The username value here is the policy variable that IAM replaces with the friendly name of the current user when the policy is evaluated. Let's review this policy and give it an appropriate name and description. Choose Review. After you filled in the fields, choose Create Policy. Now let's go ahead and attach this policy to Anna. Select the policy that we have just created and under Action, attach the policy. Now let's sign in as Anna. Now that I'm signing as Anna, I'll navigate to the EC2 console and then choose Instances. Let's see what happens when I try to stop Instance 1 as Anna. This action fails, as Anna doesn't have permissions to do it because the Instance 1 is tagged with the developer's tag and Anna doesn't belong to the developer's group. However, if I try to stop Instance 2, I can do this successfully because Instance 2 is tagged with the key, username, and value as Anna. Now if I'm signing as Zhang, who's a part of the developers group, let's see what happens when I try to stop Instance 1. Select Instance 1, and then choose Instance State, Stop Instance. Instance 1 goes into the stopping states, which is expected. However, if I try to stop Instance 2, this action fails because the instance is not tagged with the key value pair, team, and developers. Additionally, if I try to add a new key value pair, team developers, to instance 2 so that I can stop it. My attempt will fail because the policy statement has an explicit deny that prohibits the create tags actions. By using the EC2 service specific condition resource tag, you can grant granular permissions for your IAM users to control EC2 instances based on the tags associated with the EC2 instance. And now you know how to create an IAM policy to control access to EC2 resources using tags. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.